Come along as we feed the Canadian geese at Riverfront Park in Spokane. Hey, hey, thanks for stopping by. My name is Stephanie and I've decided to start a YouTube channel. I'm a part of an active duty military family and currently reside in the eastern part of Washington State. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Peace. Canadian geese are one of the largest members of the waterfowl family, also known as the Anatidae family. These geese have a considerable degree of variation in location, habits, size, and travel. This subspecies is mainly recognized as a resident in the country of India. Their species is named Maximia, also known as the giant Canadian geese. All Canadian geese have indistinguishable physical traits despite their unique sizes. Mature Canadian geese have grayish brown wings, backs, breasts, and sides. Blackfeet bills, tails, legs, and heads, and long black necks with distinguishing white patches that commonly cover portions of their throats. Male and female Canadian geese have physical traits that are identical, but males tend to be larger in size. Young geese are light yellow in color with grayish greenish heads when they are hatched. As the young geese grow older and mature, they begin to resemble the physical traits of their parents. Adult Canadian geese begin to pair up for nesting at three years old. Pairs usually stay together for their entire lifespan. If one goose of the pair dies, the other goose usually finds another mate within the same breeding season. Nesting activities usually begin in March and end in late April. Canadian geese select their nesting site in variable ways, but nests are almost always within 150 feet of water. Ideal nesting grounds for Canadian geese include artificial nesting structures, islands on bodies of water, and muskrat houses. All birds go through molting seasons and Canadian geese are no different. Canadian geese undergo a complete molt during the summer months. This complete molt usually takes place in late June through the month of July. These birds replace all damaged, lost, or deteriorated flight feathers during this time. Canadian geese are well recognized for their large V-flight formations as they fly south in the fall and north in the spring. Canadian geese are 20 to 48 inches tall, weigh 3 to 24 pounds, and have an average lifespan of 10 to 25 years. Canadian geese have a flight speed of 10 to 50 miles per hour and live throughout the United States, the lower portions of the Canadian Providence, and northern Mexico. The habitats of the Canadian geese are wetlands, marshes, lakes, streams, rivers, coastal areas, and urban retention and detention basins. Canadian geese eat grain, succulents, forbs, grasses, pond weeds, and lawns in urban areas. There are six geese species 
and they are managed by 14 different populations. These populations originated from multiple breeding areas, mainly in the Arctic, which includes Brent geese, white-fronted geese, Ross's geese, snow geese, cackling geese, and finally, Canadian geese. In the state of Washington, Canadian geese are the most widely distributed and commonly harvested geese. Cackling geese are more regionally common with large concentrations in southwest Washington and some areas of the Columbia Basin. Other geese, such as the snow geese and the less commonly known Ross's geese, reside in Franklin, Benton, Clark, Snohomish, Skagit, and Whatcom counties. The most commonly encountered geese during migration periods in late September through early October are the white-fronted geese. These geese usually fly for longer periods of time, only landing periodically on their way to wintering areas or breeding grounds. Because of this behavior, white-fronted geese are rarely seen during this migration period. The Western Canadian Goose is the largest, most popular goose in the state of Washington. This species of goose is a resident of the state of Washington year-round. Geese are highly social animals. If they are raised around other livestock and fowl, they usually get along well with them. Goose is actually the term for female geese Male geese are called ganders. A group of geese on land or in water are a gaggle, while in the air they are called a skein. Geese have strong affections for one another, especially for those within their group. If a goose gets sick or is injured, other geese within the group may drop out of formation to help and protect one another. Okay guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and what I do. I'm super excited to get this thing off the ground. Remember, good things come to those who wait.